Look, Kendrick, you need to slow the fuck down, nigga. You just won 37 Grammys two weeks ago, and now you over here executive producing superhero movie soundtracks. I'm surprised you ain't in the motherfucker with your overachieving ass. What's going on, everybody? It's the granddad of granddad, Wooly, and you are here again for another edition of Wooly Reviews, Hip Hop Data. We got an album review today, more like an album slash soundtrack review, but it's centered around one of the most anticipated movies of the year that's only a few days away from dropping, and I can't fucking wait, and it is executive produced by Kendrick Lamar and the folks over at TDE who just keep on winning. They can't lose. They're going to keep winning because that's what they fucking do. These motherfuckers are back. They dropped some new shit around some more new shit that ain't out yet, but it's out fucking soon talking about the new soundtrack slash album, however you want to call it, entitled Black Panther, the album. Now, Black Panther, the album is centered around the new movie, Black Panther, which is a Marvel superhero movie that is due out in a few days, and it is a very, very highly anticipated movie, and it's centered around us. It's centered around the black folk, Wakanda, Africans, Crazy shit, kings, queens, all that beautiful shit. Like, yo, we, I can't wait. I just can't fucking wait. And it's going to be some dope shit. But we're going to talk about the movie when it drops. Right now, we're talking about this album. So now let's see if the folks over at TDE gave us a dope soundtrack to go along with what we know is going to be a dope-ass movie. Or if, you know, sometimes you need to just let that, you know, just let the movie be the movie. Like, you ain't got to fucking throw an album out there every time, TDE, Kendrick. I know you make the paper. I know Marvel gave you a fat check for this shit, but I'm, I mean... I can't be mad at that. I can't be mad at that unless it's whack. Let's talk about the shit. Now, when I first popped in this album and I tuned into the production, which I really didn't know what to expect seeing as this is a movie soundtrack, I was hoping that they would just lend to the vibe of the actual movie itself and give a sound that's centered around that. And that's pretty much what they did production-wise. They gave us really good sounds with the dark, gritty tones to it, but it's got a nice, heavy African influence into it with African vibes, sounds, drums, instrumentation. And you really feels that throughout the entire album. But at the same time, it also is very cinematic in a way. But you do get some West Coast vibes here and there, some just straight-up hip-hop vibes some just very very smooth mellow vibes so there's a lot of different things sound wise on this entire soundtrack and project that you can appreciate but the core of it is that african wakanda like black panther superhero influence where you can hear these sounds and these beats on the movie or in the soundtrack as the movie is playing, which is really dope. And when it comes to the actual producers on here, there's a lot of notable producers on here that came through and did their damn thing. I mean, there's a lot of people on here who helped, but I'm just gonna name the notable people. You got Kendrick, of course, who executive produced, but probably did some actual production work on here too. But Soundwave, of course, TDE Original. Um, who else is on this motherfucker? Uh, Al Shucks, Illmind did some work. Bad Bad Not Good did some work on here, which is dope. DJ Dahi. Uh, Robin Hannibal, Mike Will Made It, Teddy Walton, uh, who else is on this ball? Is there any more? And there's a lot of other, Frank Dukes on here, Cardo, uh, and Doc McKinney. And then there's some other producers on here who did a little stuff here and there, but those are the notable names. But they all come through and provide that authentic, real sounding Black Panther vibe that we needed to get out of this soundtrack to get us in that zone. And it really comes off very well. There really were no instrumentals on here that I didn't like or I hated. There were some here that I thought were just decent to okay, but there were some on here that I thought were really, really well done. And you also get the African influence on songs like Ops or Pray For Me or King's Dead. I mean, just to name a couple. And it's just really a good thing to hear on here. And it just comes together really, really well for being pretty much a compilation album full of various artists doing one solid thing, which is making songs to this movie. Now, when it comes to the artists, there are a lot of different artists on here. A lot of TDE artists are pretty much the forefront, but there's also some good features on here as well who come through and do their damn thing. So you got Kendrick, SZA, Schoolboy Q, J-Rock, so honestly, the only people from TDE who aren't on here are Sir and uh, Isaiah Rashad, which is weird. I, w I was hoping that they would have been on here too. But we also got Vince Stables on here, Yugen Blackrock from South Africa, who gives a crazy fucking verse. She actually killed Vince and fucking Kendrick on the track. So shout out to Yugen Blackrock. I've never heard of her, but she's fucking dope as hell. You also got Khaled and Sway Lee on here, Georgia Smith, SOB, RBE, uh, Anderson Pack, uh, James Blake, Future. He's still on there. Y'all ain't taking him off. You didn't listen to us at all, did you? All right, whatever. Zakari's on here. Uh, Babes Wadumo. I think I fucked it up. I had to fuck up one, and I think that was you. Uh, Mozzie Sajava. 
S-J-A-V-A, Java, I'm going to just say Java, okay, get some coffee, uh, Reason, and uh, Travis Scott, and The Weeknd, and that's all the features, that's all the people who are involved artistic-wise on here, and they all come through and they do their damn thing, there's nothing that's really out of the ordinary with what they do on their songs, I mean, they all come through for the most part fairly well, some songs here I thought were just okay, I really didn't care too much for, other songs I absolutely loved and thought were dope as fuck, and overall, the artists on their respective songs did what they were supposed to do, and it's good because these songs, even though they really aren't linked together, there's no real like I guess cohesion to the album but they all just fit well and they all overall fit this broad spectrum of what this album or soundtrack is supposed to be in regards to the movie so I can appreciate that but there are some songs in here that I just think were just mad or okay like uh I Am, I thought was okay. Uh, what else is Redemption, Seasons, they were just, you know, all right to me. They weren't, like, amazing to me. Um, also, Big Shot, for some reason, I feel like it's Kendrick and Travis Scott, but for some reason, I got a real heavy Drake vibe. Like, I could hear Drake on this song way more than Kendrick on this song. So that's what I just thought. The first thing I thought when I heard the beat and the vibe of the song, like, this is something that Drake would have did. But, I mean, it's a cool song. It's okay. It just didn't wow me. But those are the only songs that I thought were just meh. All the other songs here, I just, I actually really liked and I enjoyed for the most part and they were really cool. Now, you know I gotta give you my top five tracks, y'all, and this really wasn't that difficult to find because after listening to the project a few times, there was five that I really did think it stuck out more than the others. These are my five favorites easily, and it's Black Panther, X, Ops, and then it's uh, Bloody Waters, and then King's Dead. All right, so let's go back up. So we got... Black Panther, which is the intro of it, and I love the beat on here. First of all, I love that subtle piano that's at the beginning, and Kendrick's just rapping over there, talking about how he's the king of this and that, but it's just got this really, just really, like, mellow, chill vibe. But then not too long after that, the beat switch up to this hard-hitting, just, like, battle warrior Wakanda vibe, and it just goes into this intense, heavy-hitting bass with these just crazy sounds, and Kendrick also takes it up to another level. But then, not too long after that, it dials back to that piano in a smooth transition. I just love how it does that, and then it just ends with this intense, Intense, like battle cry of he's just saying he's a king he's a king he says king like 87 times in this goddamn intro it's only two minutes long but it's a dope intro i love the vibe of it it was something that i didn't expect to be so subtle and then go up and then get back to subtle again but i like how it started off and it's a dope intro kendra did his thing Definitely check it out. You got to. It's the first fucking song. The next song, X or 10, is a dope-ass banger. It's one of the strongest songs on the album easily. It features Schoolboy Q. And I forgot to mention 2 Chains and Saudi. Those also on here. I ain't even said my bad, y'all. They all in there, though. I got them. And they are on here doing their damn thing. You got Kendrick on the hook saying, are you on 10 yet? Are you on 10 yet? Hold on. Are you on 10? Did I do it right? I probably fucked it up. It's all I tried, though. Fuck it. You got Schoolboy Q coming in with a crazy-ass verse. He says not even Kendrick can humble him. I mean, probably not. Nobody can humble that nigga Schoolboy. He's crazy as fuck, but that's why we Love them. And then you also got Two Chains on here who comes in with a dope verse. Saudi does some good work on here, and it's just a dope ass banger. I love the beat on here. It's got some African vibes in here as well, but it's also got some nice little trap influence. It's just a good, good sound and beat with some good verses from everybody on here, and it just comes out well. So it's definitely one of the strongest songs. Love that shit. 10 is a 10. The next song, Ops, is a very dope song. The beat on here is sort of like a blend between like these African vibes, but also just like EDM sound. And it's something that I would probably hear on Vince Staples' actual Big Fish Theory album. And he's on this song with Kendrick and You Get Black Rock. And Kendrick comes through with a dope verse. Uh, Vince Staples comes through with a dope verse. But I gotta say that the shining star of this song is easily You Get Black Rock out of South Africa. She comes through and she fucking murders it. Her flow is crazy. Her wordplay is crazy. She even made a reference to Gotham and the Riddler that they had to blur out because that's DC. You can't talk about. DC shit on Marvel, you can, I mean, you probably didn't give a fuck, but, because the bar was there, but it was crazy, and she just comes through and does her damn thing, and, like, she is, like, pretty much unknown, like, and, I mean, she needs to be more talked about, like, I'm gonna be checking out for more of her shit, because she got bars, she got flow, and she out rap Kendrick and Vince Staples, like, out of nowhere, and it's, like, a fucking dope-ass song, it's talking about the cops, about the ops, it's got, like, some cool sirens in the background going on, and you can kind of hear this probably in the movie in some kind of crazy, like, chase scene or action scene, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna hear this song or this beat in the actual movie, if not, it would be a crime because it's dope as fuck, but this song right here, crazy, on point, Check it out. The next song, Bloody Waters, features Abso, Anderson, Pack, and James Blake. And this is a dope fucking song. The beat on here is very low. He's got this like kind of tropical vibe to it, laid back, but it's got these nice little drums on there that I like. Anderson Pack's doing his damn thing with the vocals, so is James Blake. But I gotta talk about Abso, y'all. This motherfucker's wordplay is so goddamn dope. Like Abso is so slept on, it's a crime. His wordplay is so dope. He's got so many lines on here. I got him right here because I had to read some of them off. He's got Hope I strike a nerve like a package of matches. You might want to bypass this smoking gas trick. Like, gas trick, bypass, but strike the match. You don't want to smoke. 
This nigga's wordplay is, a, he, oh my God, it ain't done, it ain't done. Hold on, that's another one he got right here. A prince turned pope trying to do like kings do, sweating in chess games, trying to move like kings move. You should slow your roll before you drown in the moat. He tried to channel the balance but never found the remote. God damn it, soul! Sometimes I say you be reaching, nigga, but nigga, not this time. You fucking got it. This fucking wordplay is so goddamn A1, bruh. Like, fire. The whole, all his verses, both verses are just like this. Like, it's quotable after fucking quotable. He's killing it. This song, like, when I first heard it, I was like, God damn it, soul. Like, why the fuck you ain't on point? Why is he so slept on in TDE? He is the best wordplay and lyricist fucking motherfucker in that goddamn whole squad, easily. Like, I don't give a fuck what you say. He got that shit. So dope song, Soul is killing it. Just check it out. That's all I gotta say. Fucking fire. And the last song is King's Dead, and I actually did. Like, let's talk about the shit about the song. So I'm not gonna go too far into it. I think it's dope. Beat is still dope. Everything is still dope. Even though the future part is still there, they didn't take it out. I don't know why. It's there. It's still hilarious though. I'm gonna say, but it's a dope song. And out of everything else, I still found myself enjoying that in the top five more than the other ones. And it's just a dope track, so I'm not gonna get too much into it. If you know about it, if you know about the, let's talk about the shit. What I said about it, that's how I feel about the shit. But it's dope, and it's still in the top five. But those are my top five, y'all. But overall, I think this is a very, very solid soundtrack. It didn't wow me. A lot of good songs, a lot more good songs than bad songs to me. Not really even bad songs, just mess songs. But pretty much, it's solid. And I think TDE and Kendra did a good job encompassing the vibe and the feel of Black Panther while still keeping it TDE and hip hop and not really pulling anything back and just giving them themselves, which I think is dope. So my final verdict, I'm not saying that Black Panther, the soundtrack is an overall solid soundtrack that comes through very well and is gonna be a good addition to the Black Panther movie that I'm pretty sure is gonna be even doper than this. All I'm saying is that beats are fire, Features come through and do their damn thing. I really enjoyed a good majority of the songs on here. Some of the songs that I didn't enjoy that much were still mad to okay, but overall, it does the damn job. It keeps that vibe of Black Panther very well. It's I got a good soundscape to it, and it just connects very well, even though there's no cohesion to it. The songs on here fit with one another, and I can listen to the whole project no problem. So all I gotta say is that for me, Black Panther, the album, is not Granddad approved, but I will give it a very highly Granddad recommended. So go check it out. It's out right now. Listen to the songs you're gonna have your favorites everybody's gonna have their favorites because there's no real like collection of like one artist there's so many different artists doing different things so you're gonna have your different flavors but overall i think it's a really really good soundtrack it does its job well and it gives us even more hype and anticipation for the movie that i cannot wait to drop because you know i'm review that shit it's almost here y'all we've been waiting and it's almost here but i got nothing more to say Black Panther, the album, is very highly granddad recommended. So go check out the shit right now. And then when it drops, go check out that fucking movie too because you know it's going to be that fire. Flip it. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop a comment. Tell me what you think of Black Panther, the album. If you heard it, if you have not heard it, definitely check it out. It's a very solid soundtrack. Kendrick and TDE did a good job encompassing that Black Panther vibe and feel. I mean, all the songs on here aren't amazing. The, the project itself isn't, like, mind-blowing, but it's very solid and very good, very enjoyable. A lot of good songs on here and good features as well, so you can't complain. And the movie, I'm pretty sure it's going to be just as amazing, if not better, than what we got from this. So, check it out right fucking now. Previous videos on the side as well as my latest single check that I show us some love. And as always, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, Instagram. Links in the description below. And subscribe. Button on the screen. Button below. Wooly Reviews twice a week as well as the gaming channel. Check that out. The DB Fighter Z videos. Check those out. They're hilarious. Uh, also, uh, let's talk about the shit. Uh, all the other videos. Patreon. Show some support with that shit. A lot of good shit's on the pipeline, y'all. So keep an eye out on the channel because a lot of dope shit's about to drop. Especially with me personally. Me personally, I'm just saying. But I got nothing more to say. So until next time I take my leave, Granddaughter, Black Panther, the album, good soundtrack, y'all, but I'm waiting for that fucking movie, y'all. That movie is gonna be fire. I need to get me a dashiki or something African because I need to get in the vibe and get in the spirit when I get there because, like, we about to get some good shit this weekend. Black Panther is coming. I'm out of here.